at uh, with the IK enabled when this is created. All right. So this creates basically the null group that I'm going to use as this object for switching for now. Um, so for so this is the the one the way that I figured out to make it to work. I, if there's a better way, I really want to know about it. Um, for selected for s select joint. Actually, I should do this the other way, right? So let's say for I. So I is going to be the index. Actually, let's do index. For index, comma selected joint in selected joints sorry that's wrong in enumerate and so that's going to treat this list as an index so I can um, each the index will be the number in the list starting at zero uh, for the first one which is what coding does which just one of those things that's like, you know, maybe, you know, by this point, we could have figured out, uh, you know, a little better way, but this is America and we don't need to change any of that. Or it might not be America, wherever you, or it might be just, you know, there's a lot of Americas too. So that's neither here nor there, or it is here and there or there. North or South America, Central America, uh, America, Chavez. Uh, okay. So in case it's not already selected, we're going to IML select. Uh, selected joints. So we're going to go joint by joint, right? I think index. So for each number, select that joint in the chain. So for the first joint, select the first joint. Second joint, select the second joint, right? And we're going to run unlock channels just in case they're locked. Uh, and then I'm going to create a couple of variables, which maybe it's better to do at the beginning. I don't know. And I'm just going to copy up something I typed in earlier because it's a lot of typing. So I'm going to uh, rename the joints. Assuming that they are come came from the rig, they're going to be named, uh, you know, left underscore rig joint like I have here in Maya, right? Uh, let's actually select it and go to it here in Maya. So I've left shoulder rig joint, right? left elbow rig joint, left wrist rig joint. So I want to duplicate this chain, these three joints twice and name one FK joints and IK joints. So FK joint name, IK joint name. So it's going to go through all of those. And then those are my variables. Um, I'm going to create an FK joint is uh, so PM joints. So this is something that creates an object automatically. I'm not sure why if I did a group, I think it's not an object. It could be wrong. Somebody help me. Uh, name equals FK joint name. So it's going to take the rig joint name of the you know first joint, rename it, create a joint, name it the same as the rig joint, replacing uh, or take the FK name, which is the same name, but with FK replaced. Um, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to set the radius to 0 0.5 and oops, after looking at kind of the sizes here I'm going to come back down 
with my create rig joints um, where I create the joint I am going to actually make this comma radius equals um, 0 0.25 so I'm gonna make the rig joints kind of smaller the uh, FK IK joints a little bit bigger and they'll kind of be able to uh, kind of differentiate them a little bit visually it's not super important it's just a preference thing I think at this point point. and then I'm going to PM dot delete PM dot parent constraint um, comma so I'm gonna grab this oops this should be index Let's mess up if I do that selected joint index as the parent. So I want to take the actual selected joint, I want to take the new joint I just made and snap it, parent snap it to that position. Uh, FK joint. All right, and essentially what I'm just going to do here is duplicate this, but call this IK joint grab IK joint name instead of IK joint and do the same thing for that joint. So they should line up perfectly awesome uh, and completely work. Also, uh, I need to do that parenting thing. So I'm going to just grab this going to parent, parent, parent. Uh, use the, let's see, joint parent, we're going to list relatives, so of the rig joint, the parent relatives of the rig joint. And if that has a parent that exists um, sorry for the pause said the bear if PMI would be a joint parent zero parent zero Right, joint parent right there. It's like, where did I uh, uh, hope I have that variable? Okay, joint parent zero. Um, dot replace rig with FK. So if joint parent zero, uh, if there's a matching, basically a matching rig or FK. If there's a matching FK joint, then what I want to do is parent it, parent, uh, it's weird, there. Um, if it's FK, I want the FK to join to parent to it if it's there's an IK. So the weird thing is like if this FK joint already exists, I don't need to search for the IK one because it would be the same, I think, in both circumstances. So that's why I don't even search for it. So if that exists, if there's a parent to a matching FK parent. So if it's the shoulder, there won't be a matching FK parent. So it won't do this. But if it's the elbow, there is a parent, which is the shoulder. So it will parent that joint to the shoulder. Else, if there's not, 
what I want to do is parent to the rig parent joint. So I want these the shoulder to parent to the clavicle on the rig. And just for just to see what happens and frustrate myself if at all possible. Let's grab this. We're gonna do my IK FK arm. It's kind of not very consistent. All these things should be called AD if I'm doing AD. So that's something to, to think about. So that is saved. Let's grab my shoulder, elbow, and wrist and see what happens. Uh, all right, takes a second. Pymel takes a second to load up. All right, I got a sweet error. Invalid flag attribute attribute type. Line one thirty. Oh, that's not my line 130. This drives me nuts. So here it says PC PM commands PI line 130, which is the PyMail internal documentation, which doesn't tell me where this is on mine. This is a future warning that this will be the string thing will become unfair, so it probably should start. But invalid flag attribute type. 